Okay, today I've finally got out my two Intel 8085 system development kits, SDKs, SDK85. Um, this one works. This one, well, doesn't work. Well, the, um, the display doesn't show up, so I don't, I'm not sure about that one. Um, so this one does work. This one, well... It's missing all the feet. You can see there's a lot of wire wrap. And I'll get to the reason for that in a minute. Um, so, I'm, so I need to get some feet. So I'll get some more, more feet today. Um, so yeah, it's, it's the uh, for the 8085, which came out in 1976. Basically, it's um, identical to the 8080. Um, but it runs on 5 volts only, hence the... 8085 whereas the 8080 uh, was plus or minus 5 volts and I think plus plus 12 volts or minus 12 volts yeah so the 8085 was a lot simpler to power it also had some functionality uh, built in so you didn't require as many support chips so the standard one comes now what can I poke with today I'm going to poke with should I poke with the screwdriver? Yeah. So, or I might come up with a bit, bit of a close up. So, keypad, display. Um, this is the RAM area. So, 8155, massive 256 bytes, expandable to 512 bytes. Um, 8355 uh, ROM, which I think is the monitor. And then you can put in an 8755 which is a, um, you know, UV erasable um, ROM, uh, EEPROM, that has the utilities on it. So I might see if I can burn, get one of those and burn one of those. If I don't, I, I might already have one. I have to check. There's the 8085 itself. Um, 8279 for running the display and the, and the keypad. Um, and this one's got some, these bus expansion drivers you can see here this here which i think is might be a, a, a prom programmer eprom programmer we've got two x2816 um, electrical electrically erasable uh proms and we've got a is this is a d2186 which is 8k static ram and this interface here so I think that might have been especially with the ZIF socket um, I don't know what's on these or what's on these ROMs um, but this might have been used as a as a programmer it switches on the sides um, so I'll have to have to look into that hopefully <laughs> hopefully that's all there still um, yeah, so I'll have a look what the switches do. But, um, so that's that one. That one works. This one, which has got the legs, didn't, didn't work when I powered it up. Well, the display didn't come up. Basically the same, 256 bytes of RAM. Got the monitor. Um, doesn't have these chips for the bus expansion, so I'm not sure what these ones were for. But it has some circuitry for uh, teletype interface which you can select down here either the keypad or teletype 110 board there is um there is documentation i do have a lot of books i've got that one micro microcomputer theory and applications with the intel sdk85 um a bit of light reading there Microcomputer experimentation with the SDK85. I'll do some more reading there. Introduction to the microprocessors with the 8085. So, um, plus the actual documentation itself. So it does detail how to implement an RS-232 interface and also how to implement a... Um, a cassette recorder interface so I might 
I would like to do that if it's not beyond my capabilities. There we go. Turn the light off. But um, that's what I need to get as well is you can see the uh, the top segment there isn't working. I don't have any of these spare. So, um, yeah, reset, random stuff. <laughs> I shouldn't read through instructions. So it's working. Um, at that, so, yeah, so it'll be good to add in the ROM. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to poke it with the uh, what's energized. So, there we go. That's what I'm starting with. Um, not too sure about this keypad. I do, do have a bunch. Oh, I don't know if I've got any that look exactly the same. I do have a bunch of those, but... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, ah, five, five, four. So almost on one strip short. So let's see, I might replace that as well. Anyway, so that's the starting point. I'll uh, get some feet for it and um, figure out what LED, what seven segment display I need to put in there to replace that. I might go for blue. Um, and then try and figure out a bit more what is going on up there. Let's see. Not too much luck doing the um, these standoffs. I just don't have um, long enough screws. The screws I've got are either too short or just too long. So that if I had them around the other way, they'd be sticking out the bottom. So I thought, well... For now, I'll just do that. It's a bit better. And I've started, had a look at the uh, the key switch. So it's basically just, oh, excuse my fingernails. Just, that's all it is there. There's that metal leaf that presses down on the contact. So pretty simple. Um, switching lenses. So I will, I think, give these, take these off. They come off pretty easily and um, give them a clean. Okay, I've given all the keycaps a wash. Didn't really make much difference. Um, all the little springs are out. Give a little bit of a spray with contact cleaner. And I found my um, utility EEPROM. So I'm thinking I'm going to... Uh, <clears throat> I see socket, I see socket, put that one in there and um, cannibalize the 256 bytes from there. See if I can get 512 bytes. Um, but keycaps first. Okay, new sockets are soldered. Now for the utility, for the 8755 utility ROM, I need to do some strappings. So this is actually an 8777. 8755A. And according to the documentation, I've got to, okay, 30 to 29, 33 to 32, 13 to 14 are open, 15 to 16 are open. So I need to I need to strap that one, I need to strap that one. 13 to 14 are open there. 15 to 16 are also open there. So that should be enough for that. I'm not sure about the extra RAM. I haven't found anything. I will continue reading through it to see if I've got to do any strappings for the extra RAM. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I can give them a call. Do I have any issues? Connecting a Tele typewriter. Anyway, I'll do these strappings 
and um, then check ne what's next for the ram. Okay, so here I am for tonight. So I've doubled my RAM from 256 bytes to 512 bytes. And I have got the original SDK uh, monitor, SDK85 monitor and the SDK85 utility uh, ROM installed. I thought I should also add in the 100 nanofarad uh, bypass capacitors as well. So the strapping is set for the 8755A ROM, EEPROM. Um, all the keys have been cleaned. <laughs> this is confusing the heck out of it. Anyway, um, so I still need to fix up that uh, seven segment display, maybe I'll use this one as spares and grab it from there um, because there's nothing really, I don't haven't really used this one, so I'll probably clean all that off anyway. Um, I've taken a RAM from there um, and then see if uh, I can get that working. But that's where I am at the moment. Getting there.